Friday morning. It is nice and early. It's six o'clock in the morning. I've just gotten myself dressed and ready to go to the gym. I'm gonna be going to a spinning class. It's not always the easiest thing to uh, push myself to go to like an intense spinning class at such an early time, but it always makes me feel so good when I get in like a really intense workout in the morning. I just feel amazing for the whole day. I'm back from the gym and I'm gonna make myself a beautiful big green juice. I stopped by the grocery store to pick up some celery and they had this beautiful kale as well. I've also got two lemons, some ginger, a few red apples, and this is gonna make quite a lot of juice and I do like to make bigger batches so that I don't have to juice every single day. If you add lemon to your juice, you can keep it for up to three days because it acts like a natural preservative. So we're definitely gonna add in some lemons and you guys know I love me some lemons. They are so good for the skin. Vitamin C is a precursor for producing collagen. juice is done how beautiful does that look i don't know why but i just get so excited about healthy food and green juices i think it's because i know what an amazing effect they have on the body i'm gonna have this one right now and then i'm gonna put this in the fridge and i'm gonna give this to mo and probably the least exciting part of juicing is the cleanup but if you do it right away so even before you enjoy your juice it goes a lot faster because the things don't like get dried up so it's just easier to to clean but it's a really nice feeling to see it all done I'm just gonna let that air dry and then I will put it back together later on hello guys it is a little bit later I've showered gotten myself ready and right now I'm just sitting at my desk here and doing some work on my computer and I thought I would just check in with you guys the workout class this morning was so so good I love doing an early morning workout because then you still have the whole day and you just feel accomplished and Mo and I are actually doing a little challenge at the moment I've added it to my um, wellness uh, planner tracker that I shared with you guys a few weeks ago but basically my part of the challenge is abs and his part of the challenge is stretching. So he's really good with his ab training and some of you guys might know that my abs is like a sensitive part for me. It's one of the more difficult parts of my body for me to train and most abs are ripped. Like he has such a great body and he works for it like he did not have this this time last year so he really like worked on his stomach a lot um starting last june so it's been about eight months so we were talking about it and he showed me three ab exercises that he really really recommends so i've taken on the challenge to do those ab exercises every single day and his part of the challenge is a stretching challenge so he doesn't stretch at all and i quite enjoy stretching and yoga his end of the challenge is to do 10 minutes of stretching per day we've shaken hands on it and it's official so i just want to quickly show you guys what the abs challenge that i'm doing looks like so it's basically three sets of exercise 
exercises that I do for 30 seconds each. So I set the timer on my phone for 30 seconds and I start with the first move, which are bicycle kicks. So I do three sets of 30 seconds. So I do the move for 30 seconds, I take a little break, and then I repeat it three times. This really targets your whole core, but especially your lower abs, which is where I really want to work on. So once I've done three sets of those, I move on to the next exercise, which are leg drops. But I'm keeping my legs open here in the shape of a V, and this one is so, so good. So these are an additional little challenge on top of my daily workouts and my Pilates. So it's really, again, just to challenge myself and to mix it up a little bit, and most wears by these, so I'm trusting him. And then the last move are flutter kicks or scissor kicks which I again do three sets of 30 seconds and that's it this whole routine takes about five minutes so it's not something that is crazy crazy challenging so it is doable it is attainable and it's just that extra little kick in my butt that I need for my abs I have two appointments now in the city, so I'm going to head out, and this is my outfit of the day. I am rebelling against wearing boots again because I feel like I've just been living in boots. So I'm wearing these really cute white sneakers today. These are my Dior uh, white canvas sneakers. And this turtleneck is from Zara. It's got these really cute gold buttons on the side and the coat is also from Zara. So, so beautiful. The quality of this coat is really, really nice. I hope they still have it. I'm gonna see if I can still find it online and then link it down below for you guys. And then of course, my beautiful Chanel. She goes with everything. <laughs> I'm quickly gonna stop by Mo as well, so I'm gonna bring him his green juice. I'm sure he's gonna be really happy with that. Because the weather is so dry, I have to put on hand cream now before I go out. Otherwise, my knuckles get super, super like red and irritated. This is the one that I've been using lately. It's really good. It's from Dr. Hauschka, and it's just called the Hydrating Hand Cream. It's really hydrating, but it's not overly greasy. Like It doesn't leave kind of like that oily finish, so I really like it. Plus, the ingredients are really good. So I'm actually going to pop this in my bag. now and I'm trying on some clothes. I really like this black biker jacket. It has a nice gold detail. It's a new day. I did a little bit of shopping yesterday when I went to the city. I showed you guys a few clips from when I was in Massimo Dutti. I also got two things from Zara, and one of them is this really cool denim jacket. It's kind of like a vintage wash. I think this is going to go really nice with white jeans or with a white skirt, definitely with a white top underneath. I love denim and white together and i got these things for la by the way we are leaving next week i'm so so excited so ready and then i also found this how beautiful is that it's this like lacy um blouse in this beautiful red color it also has a nice peplum detail here at the waist and i think this is going to go really nicely either with denim and a pair of heels or with something black and you could wear this for like a nice dinner or something. I also received a very exciting package from Aloe Yoga. The stuff is a little bit wrinkled because it has been sitting in a box. This is from their new spring collection, so all the colors are very light, kind of like rosy and gray, really, really pretty. And I love this bra because it's quite long line, and I think that's very flattering. And it has this cute detail on the back as well. So I really, really love that. I will be trying all of these on in an upcoming haul that I'm going to film next week. So just before we go to LA. So you'll see all of this stuff tried on. And this is really nice as well. It's kind of like this cropped type of t-shirt. 
thing which I think is gonna look really nice with some more high-waisted leggings and this just arrived this morning I thought I would show it to you guys it's a huge toiletry bag with lots of things from Pixie. They always send the cutest things and this is like a travel type of bag and they've left me a nice note here. So I think these are all of their rose infused products which are more hydrating and I have tried a few of these things already like the rose tonic is really good. I also tried this, the rose flash bomb is really nice. So I will be putting a few of these things in a giveaway that I'm going to do in this video. I'll show you guys in a little bit what I'll be putting into the giveaway but I just wanted to show you guys this. I thought it was so so cute. Cute. I wanted to chat with you guys about something that I found quite interesting that I noticed. It is February 2nd today and some of you guys might know that I have this planner or this um, this like wellness self-care sheet that I shared with you guys. I have a similar one for the work that I do here on YouTube. So it's kind of like my editorial calendar for the month and I have like sections of what I want to do, what I want to film. But it was quite interesting because both of my planners are now finished for the month of January and then I printed out a new set for February but I felt like it was almost like a little New Year's like I had that same feeling of a new start of building and getting better on what I did the past month so both within my health and also within my work but I didn't really used to look at it like that before so I wasn't that like consciously aware of the end of the month or the beginning of the month or thinking of the beginning of the month as like a little new year in the sense that you go back you evaluate the month you can you know evaluate your progress for example on this I went over it and I saw where I really got better and did like quite well and also where I struggled a little bit so when I was writing out for my month of February I just felt so inspired all over again and I was thinking about the goals that I wanted to focus on for this month and that's where this challenge came in with Mo as well and it was the perfect time to integrate it into my wellness for the month so it's actually now a goal at the top of my um, planner and I think this concept in general is really important and can be really helpful because if you set your goals and you know the things that you want to achieve instead of looking at the whole year which can sometimes be quite intimidating and might feel overwhelming just cutting it down into chunks so saying like in January I'm going to focus on this this and this and then you review your progress at the end of the month and then you can add things to that so it's not going to be like too much all at once. I know that a lot of people are super motivated in the beginning of the year because it's a new year, new me, and we're all really inspired. But then a few weeks later, like by February or so, it kind of just fizzles out. And this is a great way to avoid that from happening. If you're able to take a few moments in the beginning of each month to really review the past month and see what you want for the next month, it's super refreshing and it's given me like a whole new inspiration for both my wellness and and also for my work with you guys. This planner, by the way, is available and it's totally free. You guys can just download it for free and print it out, or you can make your own. A lot of you guys have actually sent me on Instagram pictures of your own um, planners that you've made, like customized to you, and it makes me so, so happy. I love seeing the goals that you have for yourselves and how you kind of organize your like structure or your planner and using this as an inspiration or as a guide to make your own so that's another option i will have that linked below in case you guys missed that video where i talk about the planner but yeah i think this concept is so important and i get a lot of questions on how do you stay motivated what inspires you like what keeps you going and at the end of the day i've talked about this in a few other videos it's just wanting to be my very very best and reaching my fullest potential because i know that when I'm at that level, I feel amazing. And that gives me energy, that gives me power, that gives me like good vibes and lots of positivity to go out and do more cool things. So it's it's just a choice. That doesn't mean that it's always easy and that it's always like a walk in the park because that's definitely not the case. I think a lot of growth happens when you have to really push yourself and maybe do the things that are uncomfortable or the things that you are afraid of or the things that you just don't want do but I think the biggest thing is doing what you're afraid of because if you have something that kind of excites you but again it makes you scared that's what you have to go after if it has like a meaning for you now of course I'm not talking about things that are like dangerous or a fear that you might have that you're not actually interested in like maybe jumping out of a plane or something like this scares me but it also doesn't interest me like I don't have that 
willingness for it. But on the other hand, if I'm thinking about work things or personal development things or fitness things that I really, really want to do, but there's a little part of me that is kind of fearful about it because I'm afraid that I might fail or that I might not be good at it or that I might be judged for it, then I know that that's something that my soul really wants me to do to grow and to evolve and to become even better. And the reward that you feel from that is amazing. Like that is I think that's one of the most important things in life is to go after the things that you really, really want to do and like do them. And if you take time every day to reflect and to just really listen to what your insights are telling you, you will know exactly what that is. And then you just need that good perseverance and that good energy to back you up and it might be a bumpy road but you know that you're living authentically and that you're doing what you really really want to do and I get lots of messages about this as well like people maybe wanting to start businesses or living in a different country or getting out of a relationship or even losing weight but they're afraid that they're going to fail so they don't even start so those little internal desires that I think we all have I think that's something that connects us all is our willingness to do something, to become better, to grow. That's where our energy needs to go. That's what we need to act on. But yeah, I had this little thought when I was um, starting my planner for the next month, so for the month of February. And I thought I would share with you guys, maybe some of you are going through something right now or wanna change your lifestyle or do something really positive for yourself and just to grow. I hope this gives you a good little nudge in the right direction and some positivity to make that change happen for you. I am making myself a little latte so I'm making myself a matcha latte these you guys are my favorite thing I love matcha so much and this one is slightly sweetened I believe it's with agave it's so so good it's a nice like little midday kind of pick me up a little treat So this is what I'm going to be putting in this video's giveaway. So a few of those products from Pixie. This is a brightening essence from Juice Beauty, a serum from Origins, and these two are really nice as well. They are the Mini by Terry um, CC serums, which I use pretty much on a daily basis. Some products from Benefit, a couple of lip items, some Too Faced goodies as well, and this is a beautiful eyeshadow palette from Becca. So if you want to enter to win, all you have to do is leave a comment under this photo. This photo is going to be over on my Instagram. It can be any comment that you like and that will count as your entry. back from dinner and it was so good i'm so full i had a tom yum gum soup i think that's what it's called i'm pretty sure the base is coconut milk it's got lemongrass ginger and some veggies inside we had a few different dumplings as well some sweet potato fries edamame so we are back home and i think i'm going to jump in the shower take my makeup off make myself some tea thank you guys so much for watching i hope you're all having a really nice day and i will see you in my next one Mwah. bye